In today's video, I'm going to show you another idea for using up those leftover die cuts and background panels. Previously, I had made a video um, using up some, some die cuts and so forth, uh, where I made lunch bag tags for my son. And this, this video will really focus more on using these up for cards. So let's get started. So this card, I've used some die cuts that I had left over from a Hero Arts set uh, from a couple years ago. It's the fairy and the mushroom. And I had some Altenew leaves and honeybee stamps leaves and some grass from Lawn Fawn. I used some gems, I think, from Picket Fence Studios and the sentiment wish big today from spellbinders uh, it's a better press sentiment so this could be a birthday card and um, she'll really like this i think because fairies are always real popular with young girls so that's that and we'll move on to the next one so i had some leftover anita jerum so sweet die cuts that I had colored up a while ago. And I used those with the Mama Elephant Ojai Loopy frame and the um, Lawn Fawn Fancy Scalloped Rectangular Stackables. That's the pink background panel. And I, I used some pearl gems. Now they look kind of creamy colored in the video, but they're really white. And I added, um, some of the Tim Holtz rock candy glitter onto my sweet die cut, um, sentiment die cut there. You can see it's kind of flaking off, but um, <laughs> anyway, nothing is glued down here. And again, this would be a birthday card that this girl could make if she so chose to do so. And so that's that. And there's another little mouse inside. So this is another card idea that she can put together. And it um, uses some Spellbinders die cuts with a movable jellyfish and some errantly creative starfish and some seaweeds. And the um, sentiment, make waves. And the inside sentiment can be happy birthday or anything really. But uh, I think she would like have a good time making this one. And, the, and again, this is just an idea. Nothing's glued down here. It's just to show her what she could do with it. This is a pretty birthday card option. And this uses the alternate butterflies that were uh, foiled and um, alcohol inked on acetate and those um, were originally made from fairy lights that I did maybe a year ago I guess the background panel is embossed and watercolored with distress inks there are iridescent sequins also on the background and a purple happy birthday shadowed with white it doesn't look purple in the video but it is and uh, so that's a pretty card. I think she'll like that. So this card could be supportive for a friend or whatever, but um, this has some leftover die cuts from the Kathy Zilski Wild For You, I think it was, with the cat, the bear, and the elephant. And then the uh, Simon Says stamps, um, the student greetings, dream big sentiments, and I, just a background that I had made some time ago. I embossed it and did, and then I've got the, this calls for confetti little sequence there. So that's something she could put together. And again, it's not, it's not made. It's just an idea. She can make it herself. She can do whatever she wants. Now this would have been a card kit, but I thought maybe it was a little bit 
more advanced or a little too difficult for a young girl who hasn't ever made cards before and so I had to I felt I had to glue the floral bunch together and basically I felt I had to just um, prepare the whole card myself so what I decided was that when she finished her cards uh, my best friend could give this to her personally as a card for um, just just for her, just for her <laughs> so these are the completed kits and it's a great way to use up your leftover die cuts and card panels and um, if you are a seller, a card seller, this is um, another opportunity to make some money. So I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please leave us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.